Yeah, this has gone from a story about hero parents to a story about angry parents. We're talking about Hubbard Elementary in Silmar. LAUSC confirming they have extra patrols there. They had two lockdowns dealing with a suspect who is suspected making criminal threats of exposing himself to the kids. He was supposed to be here at the San Fernando Valley courtroom. Let me show you what happened. It's just, it's a joke. It, it, it's, it's, our lawmakers don't care. They Angry like parents with children at Hubbard Elementary in Somar, where you could see extra patrols today, two days after parents got a citizen's app notification of a possible threat at the school. They ran to get their kids, and this dad does not want his face on camera. Then after a few minutes, uh, they, they lifted the lockdown. So that at that point, uh, we grabbed our, our kids out of the school because they hadn't got the guy. But they had a description, and this man, who has grandchildren at the school, saw him. So he was walking, and right in front where the kids were, right in front, uh, he went like this, and looked at it, and, and then he turned around this way, and then he, he grabbed his, his, his pants, and I said, oh my God, he's got a gun. Photos by parents show them taking down a man later arrested by LAPD who identified him as 30-year-old Antonio Montelongo. He was booked on a felony count of exposing himself. Bail set at $50,000. He pulled his pounds, he was exposing. But I grabbed his hand, I didn't let him go because I didn't know if he had a gun. And this other party just grabbed him by the neck. We tackled him down. I told him, why you want to harm the kids? He said, I want to kill them all. I want to kill them all, he said. So I understand that Mr. Montelongo is a mishap that he's uh, been transported for health reasons. In court today, no Montelongo were told he had a nervous breakdown, but the DA rejected the case, kicking the felony to a misdemeanor. The DA said that our case was rejected because it's not a felony, because he has no priors. This is you, Garcon. This is why we're having these problems. I'm scared. I mean, my, my wife doesn't want to send my daughter back if this guy is out on the street. We cannot take the chance that he goes back and shoots our kids and then they're going to be now saying, oh, this is serious. It is serious already. No comment from Gascon's office, the DA, but the city attorney's actually tackling this. They're filing misdemeanor charges, yes, but three of them for uh, criminal threats, lewd conduct, and trespassing. And they doubled the bail to $100,000. He's supposed to be back here on Monday. The parents will be here, so will Fox 11. I'm Christina Gonzalez, live in San Fernando. Back to you in the studio.